how to use Google Calendar for students. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with using Google Calendar as a student. So let's get into it. Now, being someone that is still a student themselves, I have found myself to be in quite a hurry in my day-to-day -day tasks. And using Google Calendar can help you in being reminded of the tasks you have to complete, reminded of the commitments that you have made, as well as sharing your academic schedule with your peers so that you are able to make sure that you are working on your projects, working with your groups efficiently. So to get started, simply open up calendar.google.com. Now this will open up the default calendar that you have of your Google account. Now there are two ways that you can proceed. You can either choose to build your student calendar in your initial calendar. However, for some of us, we want a segregated space for our academic work or academia. And if you're someone like that, then you can click on settings on the top right and then click on settings once more. Click on add calendar on the left panel and click on create new calendar. Now this is going to be my student calendar and then I can click on create calendar. Now this will build a separate calendar for me, which is going to contain all of my academics and I can even share this calendar with my friends to make it easier for all of us to work together. You will see in your student calendar, you have a few different settings. So you can scroll down and you can automatically add all invitations to this calendar make it permissible for events so make it a public calendar this can mean that anyone can see all of your event details then below that you can share this with specific groups so your entire calendar could be shared and you can go on ahead and add any person so let's say i have this person and they have the ability to make changes and manage sharing now this particular person can also use this calendar to see my availability add their availabilities and i can work together with my friends Below that, you have event notifications that you can set up as well as all day notifications. And then you have other notifications you can integrate. Now, let's get started with setting up our academic calendar so we can get the best GPA possible. So as a student, you will see on the left, you have the calendars that are displayed. So you only want your student calendar and your task calendar to be displayed and you can change the color of your student calendar. Let's say I want this in a bright cobalt blue. So once we have done this, we can get started with setting up our tasks. Now click on today on the top left to be led to the current date. On the top right, you have the options to see the calendar in different time frames, so weekly, monthly, a yearly as well as a schedule based calendar now i want to view it in a weekly basis because it can be easier to set up our academia in weeks and i want to set it up from the next day so to get started first off i want to time block the time that i spend in classes so what i can do in a weekly calendar you can scroll up and down to see the different tasks that are going to be completed in a certain day so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from 7 a.m. till let's say not 7, like 7 might be a bit too early. So I'm going to go, let's say from 8 a.m. till 7.45. Yeah, that's a good time. And 7.45 till 4, around 4. I can just drag or just do a left click and just drag it and then this will time block it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the time and then click on doesn't repeat and this will be custom you're going to click on custom over here then you're going to do repeat every one per day and you can click on one per week if you have you know classes on certain days let's say i take classes monday through friday i can enter that and i can choose never ends and then i'm going to click on done now after that i can add my classes or uni classes just to specify uni classes i can add that now I can also time block this in a different manner. So let's say I go from 7.45 a.m. till let's say I have classes till 12. So after 12, let's say I have fine time and this is our time over here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add these as our first section of classes. Then let's say I have a break. Now you can even do this in one particular task where you can break it down into a segregation, but that can be only done if you are building a appointment-based schedule. So I will have to leave my break out 
And I can just add that as a time block section. So from 12 till 1.30, I have a lunch break with friends. And I will add that as a repetitive task weekly, a daily task. I'm going to go into custom and this is going to be throughout the week as well. And I can click on done and then click on save. Now this will also be a task that is added. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is, let's say I have classes once more. So I'll just go on ahead and add my classes again. And let's say our classes are from 1.30 till 5. And then I have classes part two. Then after that, I'm going to leave some time out. And let's say I get home at seven or, you know, I have, I get home at six and then I take a break. And then after seven, I can add the rest of my tasks. So let's say I want to maybe from 6.45 till eight, I want to have dinner plus social media plus Netflix. So this is like my break time that I have. Now below that, let's say after 8 till 9, I have a study session and I can make these repetitive tasks in the same manner. So I'm going to go ahead and add these, but let's say I do this. Now let's say for a particular time, for this particular day, I am not going to be going on a lunch break or let's say after I'll add my second classes to the rest of my calendar as well. So I'm going to add these. And we are going to make this a busy find a time section. And this is going to be custom. And this is going to be uh, six days a week, five days a week. And then click on save. Now, let's say for this particular day on the 1st of uh, March, I don't want to take my second classes. Maybe on the 1st of March, I have to go to an event. Now, what I can do is first off, you can take the same time over and then you can click on event. And let's say I have a task. I have to go to the doctor and I can add a particular time. So it's the same time as my classes. Let's say it is from 1.30. And then after that, I can add, you know, a description as well. But I'm just going to click on save. And now I have two particular tasks in the same slot. Now, if you want to remove one of those, you can click on the delete icon and you can only select this event. This will delete only the event that is created in that particular day and the rest of the recurring events will still remain. You can add this and the following events or you can add all events. Because I want to only not take class on this particular day, I'm going to select this event and I'm going to click on OK. Now, instead of my classes, my doctor's appointment has been scheduled. Now, another really useful note for a student is the note keeping app in the calendar. And let's take a monthly view now, just so I can show you guys a hierarchy view. So you guys can see now all of my days have been categorized. I have reminders that I can put in and I know when I am supposed to be where. Now, on the top right, you have a keep section, which is just going to look like a sticky note. And you can click on this to be able to keep any notes and write down any of your tasks that you have to do. And if you are looking to add people to your calendar or share a particular task, let's say you are supposed to go to the doctor. Now, this is just a task, but let's say I have lunch break with my friend and I want to add a friend to this task because I want to notify them. I can just click on edit event and then on the right you have a guest section. I can add this person as a guest and then once you do that you can see calendar not shown. Now this person's calendar is privated however once they accept our invite then you will be able to see their calendar and if they have accepted or not. You have two options mark as required or mark as optional as well so if their presence is optional or invited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.